This week's video might go down as one of my favorites. It's all about self-care today. Hi, thank you for joining me. You know, when we think about our lives and how busy we are lately, whether we are in that career zone or career and parent zone or grandparent or student, whatever, it seems that life can be awfully taxing. And sometimes by the end of the day or at the end of the week, we feel like we're at the end of our rope. We are exhausted and drained. And so putting some deposits back into the bank, taking time and care for yourself is so important so that you can be good not only for yourself, but for others as well. And so what does self-care look like? In my opinion, it comes in a variety of shapes and forms depending on what the need is. Sometimes 30 minutes of meditation can be what you need or a walk in the park or sitting in a corner and reading a book. But really what it's about is doing something that ignites your soul, makes you feel recharged, makes you feel like you are taking time for yourself in a way that you need. Now today's video is really self-care in the bathroom. And frankly, what woman doesn't like going to the spa? So who's to say we can't bring the spa to our home? And to give ourselves that hour or whatever it is that we need to essentially check out, to be a woman in our bathroom and surround ourselves with everything that is beautiful and pleasing and nurturing for not only our soul, but our skin and our hair and whatever needs nurturing on any given day. So this is going to be joyful for me because I am working, yes, for you, but at the same time, I'm giving myself self-care today. And so this is what it would look like for me. Like I said, I need nourishing and nourishment comes from head to toe. So the things that I'm going to do today in this video is a nourish the hair and I'm going to use my Olaplex number three as a leave-in treatment for the next however many minutes to even an hour, depending on how long I want to leave it in to let it soak in. I will be doing a face mask and I posted a photo on Instagram a while ago. You know, NBC covers the Olympics and they were in South Korea. So my photographer brought back some face masks for me. The Koreans are known for their phenomenal skin and their masks. So I'm really excited to try this one out. But let me tell you, face masks are all the rage these days. You can find them everywhere and anywhere depending on what your skin's needs are. I'm going to add some oil. Um, I love Drunk Elephant, the virgin marula oil, and I'm going to add this to my, my hands, my cuticles. You can use this on your face anywhere and everywhere your body needs some oil. Um, I will add these to my bath today. Uh, these are Magnusport Dead Sea Bath Salts with magnesium. I'm a huge fan of the healing power of magnesium. I use this for sore muscles, uh, but magnesium is so important for a lot of other health reasons. It can, um, again, deal with muscle cramps and aches. Also, is known to lower blood pressure, so a lot of healing properties. Um, and then, this I just love. I don't know if you remember, but one of my first videos, or at least within the first year, was my Beauty All-Star videos. And I talked about how Lan uh, Lansino, it's a product that is a lanolin product, and it's, it's created for breastfeeding mothers who have cracked nipples. And so I used it back when I was a breastfeeding mother, but I transferred it to my lips, and I thought, wow, this is the best lip balm ever. Well, guess what? The company has now made this Lansino in little lip balm form. Hmm. Funny how that happens. Wonder where they got that idea. Anyway, lips will be moisturized as well. So, okay, let's get to it. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is apply my Olaplex and just get the hair coated. So I will apply a generous amount. And, um, you know, Olaplex is a treatment that they do in the salon when they are highlighting your hair and they apply the Olaplex to the highlight so that it doesn't damage your hair. That is the harshest thing that we do whenever we add highlights. It's the bleach and the stripping of the color that makes our hair weak and damaged. So whatever we can do to fortify 
that and uh, help prevent dry ends and breakage, I'm all for it. And I've added quite a few highlights for the summer, so I really, really want to protect my hair and I don't want, um, you know, to have frazzled ends and, you know, breakage up here and things stick out and it's just not, not pretty. So anyway, this is a really, really good leave-in treatment and, uh, you know, you can leave it on for 10 minutes to an hour, whatever you want to do, but um, just let it soak on in there and you can, you know, there are hair masks on the market. Again, just depending on your hair's needs, a uh, little extra time under the conditioning mask is a really, really, really great thing. So there you go. Hair is pretty well saturated and soaked and um, making sure I've got a lot on my ends since that's where my highlight is. All right, so the next up is the mask and this one is a blueberry mask. It's a hydrating and affirming mask. So I am going to remove it from the packet. This mask is uh, one of those that you just basically apply to the face. You just sort of lay it on. It's like a sheet, sheet masks, huge right now. Um, so let's take this thing out, see if I can figure it out. Ooh, looky there. All right. This is, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, that feels really good actually. Really, really good. Refreshing, cool. Another uh, component to this is putting on some relaxing music. And I always add, I'll go to Pandora and uh, get some spa music going. So I feel like I'm in a spa. Of course, my candles behind me, as you can see. This is like a scene out of Jason. <laughs> Do you remember those scary movies? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is quite funny. Okay. And then it says I'm to leave this on for about 10 minutes, which I will do. Just making sure that I've got uh, everything covered here. Okay. And then next up, I am going to condition my lips with my Lensino. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Like I said, I, uh, I put this on at night and I wake up in the morning and I still have a layer on my lips. Truly the most remarkable lip balm now ever. Um, but I truly love how it moisturizes. Okay, and Drunk Elephant. <laughs> That's got to be a sight. Oh. And I'm just going to I'll put this all over my hands. Get those cuticles. This uh, oil feels heavenly. Like I said, you can use this for hands, feet, body, chest area, you name it. Just so hydrating and moisturizing, but not a not a nasty, greasy feeling whatsoever. Time to let this soak and time to fill up the tub. It says to add about a cup of magnesium salts, but this is a large tub, so I do about two cups. And I can kind of gauge it. And I'm going to also add some Neutrogena Sesame Body Oil. And of course, surround myself with some nice fragrant candles. Uh, okay, mask has been on for about 15 minutes now. And they say just to take it and rub in the remaining product into the skin. So here's the part that I find to be the most important, and that is the quiet time. And this to me is a time to pray, a time to reflect, and a time to cast out my 
hopes and wishes and dreams. And I've always been of the belief that it's important to throw out the gratitude first, to express what it is that I'm thankful for and grateful for. And, you know, we're all in different phases in our lives and sometimes, you know, we can be in a real tough patch and maybe it seems there's not a lot to be grateful for, but I bet you anything, if you really dig deep and do some soul searching, you can find ways to cast gratitude. And, you know, maybe you're not in your dream home, but maybe you have a roof over your head that provides shelter, that is your space. And so you can always thank God that you are grateful for the roof over your head and you have a home and you have shelter and you have food that you can put on the plate and maybe a car to be able to drive in, to get to work or where you need to be. I think there are so many things that we overlook sometimes because we're not where we think we should be and we forget to give thanks for what we have in this very moment. And, um, you know, and I believe being grateful for what you have in the present time and, and to seek it and to realize that there is always something to be thankful for is such a a great place to put your head and so I'll just you know sit in my tub and and be grateful for all the things that I have my good health my family um, my job my my YouTube channel and you know, all the things that provide fulfillment um, you know I've got my mother here and there's just there's so much to be grateful for and so I just you know always want to express my thanks for what I have even if those things provide stress even if those things can be frustrating or difficult at times um, you know I'm sure I could find somebody who would give anything to have those things so it's important to just be grateful for what is and then I just sit in this quiet space and think about all the things that I hope for my dreams, my goals, and I pray to God, and I ask boldly for what it is that I hope for, knowing all too well that He has His plan and His timing for things, but I think it's really important for me to put out there what I hope and I dream about, and my goals for myself, and how I always seek His wisdom and His guidance throughout all of that. But it's just so important to have, in my opinion, that, that spiritual connection and to have that conversation and to keep it alive and to keep it present and to keep it daily. And I really do believe that it, it just puts your head in such a good place and it makes life not so heavy and not so full of burden. It's not to say we're not to do our part. It's not to say we're not responsible for our own actions. And it's a it's a tandem walk. That's how I see it. It's my walk and his walk, and, and the two truly go hand in hand. So I really, really enjoy this part of self-care because while we work on the external and we nourish our hair, our skin, our being from the outside there's no greater glow than nourishing it from within and so that's such an important part of my quiet time to have this space to have a dimly lit room with the candles with the quiet with a little spa music going it allows you to get the clutter out and to come back to the simple the basic and uh, and that spiritual food that I think we often look for. So this is how my self-care looks. <laughs> Maybe yours is something similar. Maybe it's different. But the most important thing is, is that after we should feel that we are rejuvenated, that we are centered, balanced, a little more calm, a little more collected 
and uh, and value this time that we've put into ourselves. It's not uh, something you should feel guilty about. It's something you should schedule. It's something you should make a priority because like I've always said, you're no good for anybody or anything else unless you take care of yourself first. So let this video be an encouragement for you to take that time, make that time, see it as valuable and offer no excuses for it, but just take care of yourself in however that looks today. Feel good at the end of it and allow it to carry you through the rest of your day, the rest of your week. If this is something you can only do once a week, then plan for it, look forward to it and celebrate it and let it be fuel to carry you through. I hope this video has been something that maybe you needed today. Uh, maybe, you know, it's Thursday when the video is released. Maybe you won't have time until Sunday, but if anything, this will give you some food for thought of what you can do to incorporate self-care into your routine. So with your fully relaxed state, hmm, be bold and be blessed in the beauty of self-care. And I'll see you next week.